Alrighty, hey guys, Natalie and Linda here, and we're gonna work on our first trick, which is uh, trick number nine in the dog uh, tricks training workbook, Finding More With Your Dog. Um, it's on page 54. Um, we're going to be working on spin, which is trick, trick card number nine. Linda, come here. Good job. All right, before we get started, we're gonna make sure that this is actually um, positive reward based uh, training, which is also known as clicker training. And just for starters, we are going to load our clicker. So we have our clicker, I have my treats. Um, it's mixed in with um, her dinner and a lot of very small, soft, easy to chew um, training treats that she really likes. So you can use hot dogs, you can use cheese, um, she likes pepperonis, anything really small, easy to chew, easy to swallow, so she can um, get back to working and work in that brain, right Lena? Alright, alright, so we're going to load our, our clicker, which is, um, this is an example. We're going to click, see how she was very um, attentive, and then we're going to treat her. So we're going to click, and treat, and treat, there we go. And treat, very nice, very nice, very nice. We're going to load that clicker. Very good. Very good. All right. So that's step one. Um, next, we're going to use this by the method of luring. Um, and luring is defined as moving your hand into a position so that, you, that your dog moves into that same position and gets rewarded at the end. You can use the food lure, um, your hand, the hand movements as well. So this is for spin, and I want to stand up, so I hope you can still see me. But I'm going to hold the treat in my hand, and kind of have like this three finger, um, she knows what I'm doing, this three finger little spin um, signal. And I'm going to show you how to get started with it. Alright, so step one, we're going to have our dog... And you can follow along, grab your dog, follow along, do this with them. So we're going to have our dog right in front of us. Let's just undo some back up. So we're going to have him come, get closer, and we're going to make a wide circle. A wide circle. Go around. And once they hit our knees, we're going to click and treat it. Let's try that again. Make a wide and click treat. Very nice. Very nice. And now I might give her two treats. I want to tell her, hey, you did excellent. Let's do that again. Let's rock it. And make it really fun. Make it happy. Put some, you know, excitement into your words. Right, Luna? Right. Say hello. I'm working here. So we're going to put um, the word spin to this cube. So spin. And right as they hit our knees, we're going to click and treat that. Grab some more treats and grab some more lures. Why? All right. So now step two. We'll be making uh, those circles just a little bit smaller and a little bit higher coming towards from your belly button. So we're going to make it smaller, click treat, and give it exactly when she finishes um, what she needs to do. Alright, so I did that a couple times. I still have treats in my hand. And I'm just going to maybe even step out. Maybe that would be something like as a cute word. I didn't throw anything, sorry, baby. <laughs> um, so very small, concise spin movements. All right. So now I'm going to lose my food lure. I'm not going to have any food in my hands, and I'm going to use the word spin. Um, I'm still going to use the hand gesture with the three fingers and just kind of hovering over just like that. So I don't have any food in my hands, and this is what I want to see from you guys for uh, your novice tricks. Uh, no food lures. And still use your clicker and still reward at the end. So do that. Good spin. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Ready? And spin. Way to go. Way to go, Miss Baby. Yeah. So make it really fun. Make it happy. Make her want to do it. Stand working for my dinner. And you actually did it the opposite way. Which brings me to my next point. Did you know that your dog is either right-handed or left-handed? They actually have a more dominant side. So Luna's uh, more dominant on her uh, spinning to um, counterclockwise than she is clockwise. So I'm going to 
to see if she's going to spin clockwise. Um, now this may be your troubleshooting. You may have a dog that's kind of like just following her hand, following her hand, and not really spinning, not really spinning, not really spinning, and doesn't really offer it. So hopefully I will help you maneuver those. So I'm going to spin her the opposite way. We're going to do this by how we just started at the beginning. We're going to make that circle nice and wide. See how she came back? It's because it's uh, less dominant. So let's see how we do this one. All right, we're, we're still going to use that same word. Spin. All right, so we did it. We did it, huh? We did it, huh? Let's spin this way. That's the more easier side. And we're going to spin the opposite way. Very good. She still goes a little bit more wide. Good job. Very nice. Very nice. Remember that treat coming straight out from your belly button area? Nice and wide. You might be even here. You might just be circling all the way around, having that nose still connected to your hand, and release that treat as soon as her nose is in front of your um, front of your kneecaps. Right, Nana? Right. All right. That's it. A couple more times. Left dominant side, very nice. And then this is what I want to see from you guys is that three finger um, spin signal. So we're going to and use the word cube spin. So ready? Spin. Good job. No treats in my hand. I'm not a learner anymore. Um, that's how you know that your trick is complete. So I would practice this um, in 10 sessions, 10 times each. So if you want to grab your dog, do some 10 sessions, have a little break, next 10 sessions, um, and you'll see that progressive movements, and um, I hope that is very rewarding for you and your dog. And so this is Luna, and I'm Natalie, and we encourage you to do more with your dog and have fun. And uh, Luna's having fun, I'm having fun, it's snowing outside, I think we're going to go play in the snow. All right, we'll see you guys later. I'm gonna teach you how to turn the button off. Ready? Get it.